The ribbons represent the number of people who can't be here or are too angry to be here who have, who have suffered such loss. You know, their beautiful children were stolen from them. They were innocent. It represents difficult stories. The colourful ribbons are lives of people. For many, we can't get back. So we need to be able to talk. We need to be able to encourage everybody to understand what happens when children are violated this way and how it affects you for the rest of your life. We would happily stay home and live our own lives, except that this problem hasn't been solved. The children in Australia are not protected um, and that's why we come out, to make sure that they don't do it to today's generations. Uh, I've been here since Monday. We have been putting them up repeatedly. They've been taken down every day, sometimes twice a day. So in the last three days, it's been five times that we've put them back up. We've been assured by Helen, uh, the manager of St Mary's Cathedral, that the ones that they have already removed will be respectfully kept in a place until we decide together what to do. And the ones that are here now, like a floral carpet down this corner of the church, they've agreed to leave here. So I'm very happy with that. Um, well, the only reason the church hasn't taken them down yet is because the media has been here all morning and that has given the ribbons some protection. But uh, as happened around Australia, whenever we put ribbons up, the church takes them down. The church sees the ribbons as somehow a threat when what it is is a message of hope and support for people that deserve to heal.